Hello and welcome to Developers 10 by Newton School. I am Shyam Kumar. I am a front-end developer at Grow. And today we are going to continue our series of recommending the best books on the internet for web development for front-end development. So, so far I have recommended a book for learning TypeScript, which is learning TypeScript in 50 lessons. And it's a great source if you are looking forward to learn TypeScript from the right from the beginning and you want to go to an advanced level where you can use TypeScript in your real life projects. And before that, I recommended a book series for learning JavaScript, which is YDKJS. A series of books where you can master JavaScript. So it's going to be a very lengthy and vast series and which is freely available on GitHub. And the TypeScript book is available on the website that I showed you in the previous video. So today we are going to discuss another part of web development, which is about increasing the performance of uh, web apps or making the web apps scalable. So before we start and before I recommend you the book, I would like to thank Newton School for helping me make this video. Newton School is a platform where they are teaching you full stack development. Their course is running right now. The link is in the description. You can check it out. They are promising you a job of minimum five lakh rupees per annum. And the best part is that you don't have to pay a single penny until and unless they, you get a job. And they promise you that they, you will get a job. So do check them out. And again, thanks Newton School for helping me make this video. So let's get started with the book recommendation. Let me uh, go to the website. So as you can see, this is the website that we are looking today and it is patterns.dev. So what happens that uh, when we are uh, creating our application, if you want to create large scale application, it is very important to follow a strict design pattern so that we can make it scalable so that we can enhance the performance of our web application. So therefore, I'm recommending this patterns.dev. It, it is a website or you can see a book website where you can download the book for free. So if you click on this download book for free, uh, download book, you will see there are many options. And if you just go to this download EPUB or PDF on archive.org, you can download book from any of the sources given here. So the best part about this book is it's very user friendly. Uh, by user friendly, I mean they, they have given code snippets wherever necessary. As you can see, they have given beautifully written, well-structured codes. Uh, they have explained, like on this page, they're explaining why dynamic import is really important. And if you go uh, above, uh, beyond in this book, you'll see uh, performance improvement, handling, back pressure, support, CEO, that why we are following a particular design patterns. It's not about uh, what you should do while creating, while writing your code. It's more about uh, putting it into your habit. What are the pros and cons of following a particular design pattern? So if you'll just Google, uh, design patterns in JavaScript, you'll see there are a lot of design patterns, constructor pattern, module pattern, review, um, then singleton pattern, observer pattern, uh, which design pattern suits you. It all depends on your need. It all depends what is your use case. And this book explains that why you need a design pattern and why you should stick to it. Now, if we talk about the authors, it's Adi Osmani and Lydia Haley, as you can see. So if you just go here about you'll see these are the authors and they are very well known among the com in the community of developers. And also you can see other people who are contributing to this particular book. Uh, Josh Comey, you must have seen his blog where he creates amazing front end content. Uh, then Alina Sony, all these people are uh, constantly putting efforts to uh, make this book available for everyone. And they are putting it a lot of knowledge in this book. So it's highly recommended. You just go to, go to this website. It's completely free. Download this book and you can read more about design patterns. Now, if you uh, see that what kind of uh, books, uh, what kind of knowledge, uh, what kind, what is the key objective this book is trying to achieve by uh, giving this to you, uh, you can see uh, that in the book here, uh, you will see they are discussing patterns. What are the good practices that you should follow? What are the uh, bad practices that you should avoid while writing your code or while creating your entire application? So with all the practical examples that they have shown, it is going to be really easy to put this into your practice. Now, if you'll just go to the homepage there, they are talking about two things that in this book, they are giving practical examples in code sandbox. There will be uh, the code sandbox, is basically a, a platform where you can create react applications very fast and much more, but I generally use it for react applications. The examples are really practical. You can play around with it on code sandbox and their animations are going to help you a lot in learning. And apart from this, uh, they are, they have implemented ES2017. Uh, the, all the new updates that we have in JavaScript are already being used in this particular book. Uh, it is highly optimized for react developers. So I'm assuming that if you're into front end development, you must have heard what is react and, uh, you are, most of us are already using it. So there is react specific design patterns and there are possible, possible modification that how we can modify a particular pattern for our need is explained beautifully in this book. And it is focusing on web performance. Like after a certain point of time, 
we are uh, well aware of everything in the front end domain but suppose if we want we can create a website successfully but creating a website is not everything we should know how we can increase its performance we should know how we can scale it so with this book you will get to learn a lot about these things so apart from this uh, that as they are saying we help you scale your web apps for performance your performance will be optimized and this is a competency that you should have because you should know what is the per performance of your website because everyone can create a website by looking at a tutorial but if you really want to scale your website your performance should be highly efficient so these are few of the things that uh, they are teaching you they are teaching you uh, singleton pattern prpl patterns then render props patterns so everything is explained in this particular book uh, they are uh, telling you higher order component patterns hooks pattern so generally now that we have functional components people prefer uh, following the hooks pattern uh, what are the patterns that we don't use anymore all of those are discussed in this the reason why we don't a particular pattern the reason why we uh, use a particular pattern everything the pros and cons the advantages disadvantages how to use it how to modify it everything is covered in this book so i again i am highly recommended recommended recommending this book if you want to learn more about web, web performances and web development so uh, now if i go to just insights you must be knowing this person dan uh, he is the person who created redux right so it's very well known in the community and other people who are giving their uh, valuable insights in this book uh, they do recommend this book so again uh, you should uh, read this book if you want to grow in your career and that's it about this particular book i hope that you will take out some time and read this book whenever you are free so i'll see you in the next video till then uh, make sure you have liked the video if you want any other book recommendation you can comment it out i'll surely recommend you the best book for that particular topic or for that particular domain so make sure you have subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos again a big thanks to newton school for helping me make this video see you in the next one bye